Hey, how's it going everyone? MathWiz here. Not Maryland, I stole his intro though. Hey, it's episode 7 of the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. And uh, we got this Paris to deal with. But I've got Charcasm on my side, so it's okay. We can just burn it to a crisp in one shot and it's done, it's over, it is finished. So how's everybody doing today? We've got, we're seven parts now into this series. And we are halfway-ish through Mount Moon, which is good because then once we get through Mount Moon, then we're going to be on our way to Cerulean City. I'm not fighting that thing. Even though I, I could have used Metal Claw, I could have tested out the the true strength of Metal Claw, which, you know what, if I find another Geodude, I'm going to do it. But it's there's a possibility that we could evolve Charcasm in this episode, and that's cool, that's cool, that's exciting. But once we make it to Cerulean City, that's going to be interesting. Figuring out how I'm going to deal with Misty's water types. Because having a fire type starter, not the best thing for that. But looking at some of my options here. Uh, we can make it work, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I could come up with some sort of a strategy. Oh no. What do I got this time? Is it that Geodude? Nope. See, the Geodude overheard what I just said a moment ago. And does not want to fight. Does not want to fight Charchasm, does not want to test out that Metal Claw. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out. Let's put... I don't know what he's going to have. Let's try Raditator. As much as I want to put Melody out front, she doesn't have much in the way of attacks. She's got uh, Pound and Sing. And Sing is pretty inaccurate. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's a battle of Rattata. A Rattata bat oh my goodness, it's got quick attack, oh jeez, I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. But it's okay, because if I get off my quick attack, it's over. And I'm switching out, I'm not testing that again. You got a Saiyan Shrew, that'll be, that'll be interesting to say the least. Uh, let's do Wilder, why not? Hit that thing with a couple karate chops and it should be done, should be a done deal. I'm probably gonna have to start using some potions, but obviously I can't use them in battle, so I'll have to save it for later. Oh, defense curl. That's annoying, but it's nothing that we can't deal with. So last time I know I talked about my favorite Pokemon generations, I ranked them. What are What is your favorite Pokemon generation? When did you first get into the series? We can have a little discussion down in the comments. I know last time I also asked for questions and nobody left me any. So I guess not as many people who watch this series actually, like, leave comments. I don't know. But it's it's all good, because we will keep soldiering on. I forgot to switch, and I forgot to heal. So I should do that. I should remedy that real quick. I've got six potions. So I, I can use one. It's no biggie. The only problem I've had with this game in the past is that... Uh, well, I'm going to put Charcasm back up front, just in case I find that Geodude. But uh, the only problem I've really had with this game in the past is the way, like, every time you use an item, you get that screen where it, like, loads the item or whatnot, so whether it's a TM or a potion or something. It's just tedious to go through. Speaking of tedious, everything's jumping out at me. But I'm not going to fight this Paris. It's got to be a Geodude. It's a Geodude or nothing. Let me try walking. Let me see if that'll... Nope, that didn't help either. Apparently running attracts Pokemon faster, but that didn't really seem to be the case there, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on running. This is level nine, so maybe we can one-shot it. Not quite. Maybe if Charcasm was a metal type or a steel type rather, maybe it would have worked. But it's all good. One more shot and it's done. I don't know. Is Charcasm gonna hit level 16? We're closing in. I could always have Charcasm lead for the next fight. That's definitely an option. It's another Zubat. It's another Zubat. Now, I know at the end of this cave, I'm going to get a Moonstone. So then the question is, when... Wow, that was... I took like two steps and another Pokemon showed up. These... Yeah, these Zubat. They'll do that to you. It's a battle of attrition with them. They'll just keep popping up. And they're annoying and it's the worst. Ah, but yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this with this Moonstone. How quickly I want to get a Wigglytuff because I, 
I don't- I should have checked moves for Jigglypuff before I did anything. But at the same time, I don't want to lose- I don't want to lose this cute form yet. Like, I, I want to I want to keep a Jigglypuff for at least a little, a little while. Even though Wigglytuff might be stronger, I, I would kind of like to have this, have this Jigglypuff for, for a little bit yet. So let's go ahead and try and lead with Raditator. I mean, I used a potion, so I might as well, might as well fight with Raditator. Hey, look at this. We got another showdown. But I have the level advantage. And I have Hyper Fang, which, I mean, this rat, this Rattata probably has it. Yep, it does. It's gonna do some decent- Oh boy, oh boy, yeah, I should have seen that coming with how much mo with how much damage mine did, that shouldn't have surprised me. And it's a Zubat. You know what that means. It's time for Socrates to confuse it with philosophy. I can imagine just- Little Soc Socrates is a little Caterpie, just somehow, just in, in the forest, if anybody would drop any books, Socrates, that, that that's Socrates' backstory. That's how he became the Butterfree that he is today, was that he just found a bunch of books in the forest and read them. He learned, Socrates learned how to read, and that was how he gained his mind powers. So I know this guy's gonna have a coughing and a Voltor, but I forget what leads but I'm gonna start with Socrates and see how we go. Hey, stop, I found these fossils, they're both mine. That would be interesting though. The thing about the fossil is, like how does that, how, it, it depends. Like certain people count it where uh, the area where you find the fossil would be the encounter. So since I've already got something at Mount Moon, that would mean that the fossil, like I got it here, so that would mean I can't use it. But then there's also the camp that will count the fossil as uh, the encounter for wherever you like purify it, wherever you resurrect it or whatever, whatever the term is called. So for me, because I believe as far as if my memory serves me correctly, the way that it works, like when it shows up as the area you got it in, it's wherever you like purify it. So in this case, it would be Cinnabar or yeah, Cinnabar Island. That's that's the place. And that's way down the line, not like it actually matters, like I'll ever be able to use it at that point. I mean, I don't know, maybe I could do some super grinding at that stage, but that would... <sighs> that'd be a lot, because my team would be, a, you know, a decent bit ahead by that point. I'm wondering, do I want Fury Swipes, or do I just... Should I keep Leer? Because Leer could be useful in the, in the future for something, probably. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. It's way too inaccurate. I would rather not. I hit the wrong button. There we go. I don't. I know five times would be helpful, but at the same time, nah, I'd rather pass. Because, you know, five times might be cool, but how many of those? How often would all five of those shots hit? Because it's it's and uh, no, actually no, that's not how it works. It's you attack and you either hit. For however many times you hit for, or you just miss entirely. I don't know what I'm saying. But as far as how I would count fossils in this game, I count it towards wherever I purify it. So in this case, it would be Cinnabar. Let's see, there's the Helix fossil. Praise Lord Helix, it's mine. Now I know an Aerodactyl would probably be more useful by that point in the game if I really wanted it. Actually, no, wait, what am, why am I saying Aerodactyl? That's not what that is. It's either a. a Ammonite or shoot. I should have picked up the dome fossil. That's fine. That's fine. But it's either a Ka uh, uh, Kabuto, Kabuto. I don't remember how it's pronounced. Whenever I think Kabuto, I think the guy from Naruto. Uh, but yeah, the Ka Kabutops, Kabuto, or the Ammonite Amastar thing. I forget where you find the Aerodactyl, but I know you can somewhere in this game. And it's these guys. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack, don't you agree? Yes, uh, Mega Kick. I'm more of a Mega, a Mega Kick guy myself. Wait, what? What? Melody can learn it? See, whenever I would have a Mankey, I would always teach Mega Kick to Mankey. But, Melody can learn Mega Kick. Ah, and plus it's a normal type, so it's already got Stab. Maybe I should have... 
You know, in thinking about it, probably should have given that to Mankey, and I could have given Mega Punch to Jigglypuff, but it's it's okay. It's 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 fine. Give Melody the stronger attack. Wilder can have Mega Punch. This will be a good replacement for Scratch, because I think it's... No, it's 85 accuracy. Not quite 100. But... I mean, it's twice as powerful. It's more accurate than Fury Swipes, because I think Fury Swipes was 80 accuracy. Or maybe it was the same. Either way, I'm gonna go with Mega Punch over... Because realistically, when am I ever going to use Leer? But I'm going to keep it for now, just in case, because if I need it for strategy, I'm going to get rid of Scratch. Pick up Mega Punch. Which, yeah, I guess just I won't use Wilder to catch anything, because Scratch would have been weak. But at the same time, now I've got a full team, I could find something else to capture something. I don't know if there's any hidden items around here. I'm not going to go searching for them, even though I kind of get the feeling there would be. But then again, if there's... Like, there's this Pokeball here, so why would they have hidden items? You! Bring me over this thing! Help me climb this ledge! I gotta go find you two now! But this is, uh, I forget which route this is. Where am I at? Actually, you know what? I know a good way to check this. Let's just hop down. And there, I'm in Cerulean City. This is Route 4, which I think was a new route. Or was the... Fine. I was trying to avoid this. But, I'll just check. The, the, the map, the town map. So I don't remember if this is an extension from the other thing. Yeah, it is. I think. Because, hang on. This is route. Oh, no, wait. There's, here's a surefire way to check this. If I check Melody, where where is she from? She's from Route 3. I have not caught a Route 4 Pokemon yet. Therefore, I can go back and catch something after I heal. Which is great. But yeah, when I was talking about the fossils, I'm pretty sure where it says where you met it, it would be where you purify it. So in this case, it'd be Cinnabar. So that's what I'm, that's what I would count that fossil for, assuming that I ever actually use it, which who knows? I might, I might not. I can't think of any other, like, I can't think of any other time where I've actually, at least for Fire Red and Leaf Green, any other instance, I keep bumping the mic, any other instance where I've actually purified the, the fossil and actually used it on my team. But of course, this would have to be after someone in my party dies, which preferably I would like to avoid that at all costs. I mean, if I had my way, we would have the, the six that I've got right now would take me all the way to the Elite Four, but we'll just have to see how that plays out. So I got a star piece I can sell. Give me that money. And we've got nothing. Well, I can sell the survive because we know I won't be needing that. And yeah, everything else we have. Can I buy super potions yet? I can. Give me five. And nope, stop. Now I think if I buy 10 Pokeballs, I get the Premier Ball, or did I already test this? I feel like I already tested this before, but I'm gonna buy them anyway. Nope, you don't get Premier Balls at this point. Uh, not in this game, so forget that. I'm gonna pick up some antidotes. And I don't think I would need anything else here. I could pick up repels, but I'm gonna try to wait and see if I can get super repels first. Uh, paralyze heal. Mm, I guess just having five of this stuff, that's what I, I typically like to go in increments of five, so I guess I'll pick them up. I guess I'll get two awakening. I really don't know when I'll ever use these, but, because obviously if I can't use them in battle, then there's not gonna be many instances where I'll get to use them. But it's, it's good to have, just just on the, the off chance that something goes south. So, we're on Route 4. I know I can find Ekans here, uh, and what else? Probably stuff I've already found. But I do have the, the 5 encounter limit. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have Socrates lead, because Socrates has got Sleep Powder. And that would be helpful. But then, yeah, I, I could tackle it if it's an Ekans. So we'll see what we go for. I'm hoping for an Ekans, but we'll find what I got. What's it gonna be? It's an Ekans! Yeah! I love Snake. Backwards Snake. Although there, there haven't been many instances in the past where I've used an Arbok. I can think of 
I think I might have used it for like a full playthrough once at some point several years or whatever back. Let's see how much that does. Okay. I could get off one more tackle. I'm gonna risk it if I crit. I... Okay, good. Critical hit and I would have cried. But that's fine. We did it. Let's go for the Pokeball. Can I catch me an Ekans? Can I catch me a snake? Let's go. Yeah, we did it. Ekans is mine. But what do I name this thing? That's that's the question. Oh, I forgot to read the 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 the, the, the deck entry. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking snakes. I'm thinking anime. I forget what button. There we go. We're gonna go with my my favorite villain from Naruto. Now let's just see if I can spell it right. Orochimaru. Yeah, there's just enough room. There we go. Orochimaru. You're on the team. Well, not really. You're in the box. But maybe, maybe I'll get to use you at some point. We'll just have to see how that goes. Now, I could probably train before doing this fight. This fight up, up, up ahead here. Because I know it's going to be kind of tricky. And I probably should do, like, a little more training, like... Getting Melody up a couple more levels would be nice. Same with Raditator. Hmm, I forget what his highest level is. But at the same time, there's got to be a bit of challenge in this series, right? Ah, I mean, I don't want anyone to die. Okay, wait, so he's going to start with a Pidgeotto. I know that he has a Pidgeotto. Well, here, before I get into that fight, I at least want to have a Charmeleon. Cause, well, no, I think he has a Squirtle. Hmm, ah, you know what? You know what, we're just going to go. We're just gonna go and see how things see how things go. <sighs> Am I ready for this? I hope nothing goes wrong. Let's go. Yo, honest. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you've caught, honest. Me and my overdramatic acting. But it's all good. Cause it's corrupt. He's he's here with his Pidgeotto. Level 17, and I know that's not his highest level. Well, we'll see how this goes. Let's hit it with an ember. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. See, I, I thought because his starter wasn't evolved that, oh my god, I should have evolved into a Charmeleon first. Uh, and I can't heal in battle. I... Uh, da, 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 da. Well, this, this is off to a great start. Because what do I even switch into? Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Um. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think this through. Okay, I'm going to stay out. I'm going to go. For, uh, do I want to do that? Because if I switch into anything, this quick attack is already dealing a ton of damage. Who's got high defense? Uh. Well, let's see. 21. Oh, wait, never mind. That's special defense. 19. Uh, you got 25, but Gust would would wreck. Valkyrie's got 22. But still. I mean, that's a little more than what the last had. Uh, I should have prepared more, better. <sighs> well, um, here's the thing. Charcasm's not going to be able to do anything against Squirtle. I know that Wilder can take out the Rattata. Abra's no problem because it only knows Teleport. And then Squirtle I could deal with. So Charcasm, this is the only time Charcasm is going to be useful in this fight. So I'm going to have to hope that Ember hits. No, you fool! Oh, jeez. Okay, that sand attack was... <sighs> man, 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 man. Okay. Valkyrie, I guess you're my next... My next in line... This not going for healing items is already coming back to bite me. Let's see how much Gust can do. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's only half. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man, because I got to switch into something. And I... What was Melody's defense again? 12. Oh man, Melody's got nothing. Melody's got nothing in this fight. I don't even know. Could Melody survive two quick attacks? I don't think so. 
Um, I mean, a mega kick would be nice. Uh, but how much do, how much attack does Melody even have? 18. That's I figured Jigglypuff would be more defensive than that. So that's interesting. I guess we could do. I I uh, uh, Well, I. Eh. I mean, what else can I switch into? These two are weak. Melody would die. Raditator is, I guess, the only other Pokemon I could I could go for switching with. See how much one quick attack does. Oh God, no! Oh no! And it was already faster than Pidgey. How does speed work? Oh, crap! I think I've just I've just doomed. Well, okay, Raditator's faster than Pidgey. How about Char? No, Charcasm is slower. Oh no! And I got no healing items that I can use. Did I even have any Orn Berries that I could have used? Well, I don't even have a berry case, so no. Well, I should have prepared. I should have done more training before this. Oh man. Maybe I can hope it derps. Maybe it'll use Sand Attack. No! Ah! Crap, okay. How much could a Mega Kick do? What could... Either that... No, because that if I switch into either of these two, right off the bat, then it's gonna go for Gust, and that might not knock out. I forget if Gust is physical or special. Either way, we got 25, 34, defense... Ugh. The only one that would be feasible would be Socrates. But even then, I don't like I don't like my odds. Mega Kick is not very accurate. Mm. Ah, I know, because Raditator had what 15 health left. Melody's got higher HP, so hmm, I think this is my best option. Ah oh, man, well this this Nuzlocke started off slow. And, uh, just, this is what, this is, tends to be what happened, is it just, sudden, why are you using Tackle? <gasps> why didn't I do this first? Why didn't I do this first? I think I just killed Raditator for nothing. Oh my god, Melody! Melody! Taking out this Pidgeotto. I should have gone to Melody first, I should have had more faith. Should have had more faith in, Me oh man, now there's that Rattata, but you know what, I've got options for this. Imagine if I was on set too, I'd be wrecked. I- oh man. I killed my Rattata. I know it's it's just a Rattata, but- oh man. I didn't want anyone- I didn't want to lose anyone like that. Even- even though it's a Rattata, I think Rattata is still fairly cool. You could have worse normal types at the start of the game. Ah, oh, man. But it's okay. I can train up Melody now against this Abra. See, so, like, if I had given Melody Mega Punch, I don't think that would have been a knockout. So it's a good thing, after all, that I gave Melody Mega Kick. I'm just gonna use Pound, I'm gonna play it safe. Plus, this thing's got no defense. Oh, wow, it's actually gonna take three of these. Oh, man. That makes me sad. That makes me sad that, that, that I just lost my Rattata. But, uh, this is this is what I get. I jumped right into it. I knew it was going to be a difficult fight, and I didn't do the proper preparation. Disable, yes. I will take that. I d Can Melody learn Rollout? Because then Defense Curl would be nice. Having it just in general would be nice. I mean, Sing would be cool to have, but if I've already got Butterfree that can use Sleep Powder, do I really need it with that accuracy? I think I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna replace it with Disable. So I guess now I've got to I've got to train up something else because you can never you can you can never have too much grinding. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go with Socrates against the Squirtle. I forget Misty's highest level is I think 20, so that's what I'm looking forward to. I have to do a little bit of training anyway, it seems. Well, especially now that I just lost. Raditator. It's depressing. It's, re it's really sad stuff. But that's why we must avenge Raditator. We must finish this fight. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, you can withdraw, that's fine. I don't really think Squirtle can do anything to Socrates. Because Squirtle's got, like, bubble. Probably tackle. Withdraw. And I don't know what the fourth move would be. I don't think Squirtle learns rapid spin at this level. I don't think, I think that's a move that War Turtle learns just through evolution. I could be wrong on that, but I really don't, I don't know what that fourth move would be, but I don't think it's really gonna matter. Actually, it might have Water Gun by this level. It probably does. At least I would hope so. Bubble's really weak. All right, but we've got Sleep Fusion. So even though Squirtle just woke up, maybe it can hit itself. Yeah, okay, so it does have Water Gun, but that's not gonna do. Yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. And I'm not even gonna worry about Sleep. I'm just gonna confuse you. Oh, that's right, it is still confused. Maybe it'll knock itself out here. Yeah, that's how we do it. And actually, I, I was wrong. I, I misremembered my rule, but I still couldn't have used any items anyway, because I had said that I, I wouldn't use any unless my opponent uses them, and Corrupt did not use any items. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's, wor B B Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using a system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Oh, wait, he's back. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. Yeah, you just killed my Pokemon. You should feel sorry. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. The fame checker. Thanks. Thanks, fam. Because I... Because, yeah, that, that fame checker. It's really gonna help me. It's really gonna help me on my journey. Help me find new places, meet new people, yeah. Well... I was hoping to avoid this, but at the same time, I kinda walked right into this one. So it's time for our first... Our first, uh, what, what do we call this? Funeral? I guess that's the, the, the uh, the most accurate... the uh, term. Ratitator. I'm sorry it was all my fault. Met you on Route 1, you were the first Pokemon I ever caught. And I ruined you. Hyper Fang, you could have been a threat. Like, not even joking. Hyper Fang, you, you, could, have, you could have been something, but, but I ruined you. I, I set you up to fail. But if it wasn't for your sacrifice, we would not have taken out that Pidgeotto. So, with a heavy heart, we bid you farewell. Well, that was depressing, so I guess, um, here's the thing. As much as I want to just throw Orochimaru on the team, I should be mindful of what I'm going to be going up against in the future. So we've got Misty up next, which I don't think, obviously, uh, the Geodude Snow is not going to be any help here. But then we got Lu Lieutenant Surge. Wilder would be helpful there. But, I mean, like, Charcasm could as well up against, like, the Steel types, but other than that, if those are kind of, like, those are basically my two options for that gym. So, Snow would help there. I mean, Orochimaru can learn Dig, which I'm gonna be getting here shortly. And then you've got the Grass-type gym leader, which, again, that would go to Orochimaru. You got Poison-type, which I guess would be Snow. And, but then I'm, now I'm starting to think really far ahead. Let me just look at their stats. So, you're a timid nature as well. Wow, Raditator was a timid nature. I think, I think this might be fate. I think, I think it might have to be Orochimaru. You got Intimidate, which is always useful. Yeah, I think, well actually, how do they gain experience? Like, which gains it quicker? Probably G, yeah. Well, then again, no, that's even higher level, so. So guys, training up Orochimaru is gonna suck, but I think it's what has to be done. He's in the party now. I can't replace him. Snow is... I mean, Snow just had, just had a friend show up in that box, and already she's... She's back to her lonesome. So one casualty. Will it be the last? Hopefully. But I think on that somber note, 
I think we're gonna have to call it a day next episode. I gotta do more grinding. I get to train up the seconds now, which, yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be fun. We, we've got to move on from, from Raditator's defeat. So until next time, keep on YouTubing.